Hello, beach friends. We are here at South Marco. It's in the afternoon because it's summer. That's when the low tides are. And I can only get to this not so secret place at low tide or negative low tide. We are gonna leave a beach that looks like this. There's nothing wrong with it. it looks great, but I'd like it to look like this. So we're gonna sneak around some jetties where shells tend to kind of collect. We're gonna stay over there for as long as we can. It is a low tide situation. I can only be over there for so long. So the clock will be ticking. But in that time, I'm gonna look for as many cool things as I possibly can find, including possibly a critter or two. So if you're ready to see what's around that jetty for us today, let's go to the beach. So yep, we're going to my not so secret spot in South Marco Island. And it's just kind of cool because you can really only get there at certain times. Now, even when I'm in the water, I'm still kind of looking around and what is that in the water? That is wishful thinking. Yeah, little note from the beach. That was just a bunch of seaweed. So it is about 0.5 on the good old high tide, low tide scale. So that means I can get over there and back. I will tell you, it does get a little dicey for me on the way back. This jetty has changed a little bit since Hurricane Ian, but for all intent and purposes, about 0.5. That is a lovely calico scallop. One of the reasons I'm over here and I kind of come around that jetty is because all the shells, not that they get trapped here, but it's just like a great location for these bivalves. So the two shells we just picked up, that was a calico scallop. This is a bay scallop. Those are bivalves. And then we will also be looking for gastropods. That is a Florida fighting conch. It's only one piece to that gorgeous shell. So we made it around that turn and now it's low tide. That was the easy part. Now I will have to keep an eye on the time because I will need to scurry out of here when the tide comes back in. Oh, hello, big fat, gorgeous olive. So that's a lettered olive. Clarity, so we have some nice clarity. We can kind of see what's going on here, which is nice. Oh, hi. Now this shell, it was a little, it's broken, but it's just shaped so weird. It doesn't have any knobs on it. Oh, it was just, just really kind of different. So I decided to hang on to that. It's just knobless and it's just got a nice pattern on it, so. I decided to hold on to that. And here we have a live critter. So this is a lightning whelk, which is alive. Cool, beautiful color. But since it is alive, that needs to stay here at the beach. So the living critters we find here, I just leave them back in the water. They will not send you to the hospital like in some other parts of the world. So there's nothing here in the shells that's really gonna harm me. I am safe especially from this empty banded tulip. Oh, that's pretty nice size, banded tulip. And another while I'm here, not gonna pass it up. Oh, that one's pretty too. Don't they kind of look like camo to you? Kind of got that pattern underneath the bands. Oh, wow. Oh, and what was funny is I didn't really notice this little shell kind of stuck to it. So we have something, looks like a lace murex just kind of stuck to that. I'll find them like that. I don't know why, but at any rate, I left them both here. I grabbed that banded tulip and I'm just going shell after shell. Now this one's a little interesting, right? Different kind of shape. It is a fighting conch. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it looked a little different, but that's kind of the, one of the lovely mysteries to these shells is that no two are the same. So kind of keep you guessing, but I'm going with Florida fighting conch and that is a nutmeg with a whole bunch of beach stuff on it but the shell is gorgeous great color so i have not made it very far i can tell i'm still hanging close to that jetty 
Oh, wow. Yep, gonna be a good couple of hours for us if I have to guess. Gorgeous, empty lightning whelk. Terrific. Awesome. Oh, it's so pretty. I love looking at that spiral on the top. Oh, to me, that looks like an alphabet cone. Man, I love that pattern. Ugh. <laughs> and then the first thing I'll do is I'll check, is it broken? So that's what I do, I flip it over, I look at the opening or the aperture. And yes, it is a little chipped, but the color is so good. I'm gonna make an exception where that alphabet cone should come home with me. And that shell, holy cow, is that a cool fighting cock. Look at the zigzags, they're all over the knobs. Plus you got a zigzag stripe, oh really cool shell oh no well it's a moon snail little bit too broken for my taste so i'll likely leave that at the beach but not those holy cow they literally were calling me they're like Charmin, pick me up i'm so dark and beautiful chocolate color and they're right they're right those fighting conks were awesome this is a hinged sunray venus clam kind of looks like angel wings not to be confused with the angel wing shell yeah sunray venus clam and a little banded tulip of the little variety tiny little gastropod perfectly collectible shell oh nice little orange florida horse conch love when they have that little white tip on it like a little piece of candy corn so that is a florida horse conch oh look how zigzaggy you are oh and you're alive you've got a great show going on there friend oh it's gonna so that's the fighting conch and you know i know technically they say they don't know why they're called the fighting conch i gotta believe because they're super adorable and they kind of do this fighting thing they kind of whip in their their foot around with that little operculum on the end and oh my gosh it's so cute i love the little eye stalks that little trunk it's proboscis oh, love saying hi to the critters and again perfectly safe to say hi and just leave it at the beach oh i think i see something good oh so just like that, I did see something good. It was the whole shell, unfortunately. I disturbed this poor critter was probably having a snack, or I don't know, maybe it was taking a nap, I don't know. All right, so I found this hinged. That is a ponderous arc. So we're just gonna bury that arc. We're gonna kind of put you, tuck you back in. So in case you wake up from your nap, you'll have a little snack ready for you. Oh, that fighting conch is so cool. So I go a little crazy over these shells. Some of them are just a little bit cooler than others. Speaking of which, because I really do love those fighting conks, I had the opportunity to take some of my shells and get something permanent made from them. So Ocean Soul offered to take a couple of my pieces and make jewelry. So I brought my two seashells. Of course, one of them was the fighting conch. And then I also had a flat. And I came down to their store and I consulted with them. We picked out the different bezel that I like and there's so many different varieties. Now you can have something custom made or you can pick out something that they've already made and you'll notice that's pieces of the Genonia. We see the calico scallops there. So I had my pieces delivered a little while ago. It's taken me a while to at least show you I have been wearing my awesome pieces of jewelry. So it will come its box beautifully from ocean soul yeah let's get to the good stuff so first yeah it's my flat isn't it pretty so that was the bezel i picked out comes with a nice little i don't know what you call that i'm not a jewelry person but the clasp on it is really nice so this one i currently have on a nice long chain i love that anytime i'm wearing kind of a tan or a pink color and then I do have to admit, this one is my favorite because it's the fighting conch. And it's just got that cool pattern on it. I really, I love those shells so much. And again, that little top piece on it with a little wave. Oh, it's really pretty. Not, it's not a jump ring. I mean, it's part of the whole piece. It's absolutely beautiful. The quality 
was gorgeous. So you can go there yourself or you can shop online at oceansoul.net. And if you use the code SWF Beach Life, you're going to get 20% off your first purchase. So if you happen to find something that you just want to, you know, keep it forever and ever and wear it as jewelry, go ahead and give Ocean Soul a little peruse. They have some really beautiful stuff. And frankly, if I could, I think I'd make like a giant necklace out of like my favorite fighting conch. I think it would be a little weird if all oh, that conch was so pretty. All right, maybe not that big, but uh, believe me, I'm on the hunt for my next, my next necklace. Oh, these, yep, these fighting conchs get me. Not all of them, but some of them are just irresistible. Another, yep, a little orange, little orange candy corn, horse conch. And it's not, isn't it funny? This one's a little more orange. That first one we find was more that fire engine kind of color. Now, what do we got? Ooh, another stripey. Uh-huh. Hi, you are gorgeous. What else did I see? Okay, banded tulip. Yeah. A lovely banded tulip and a lovely fighting conch. Awesome. Oh, calico clam. Little, little little green on there. Nothing that bleach won't take care of for me. Awesome. Oh, and a little nutmeg. Oh, it's so pretty. Little common nutmeg. Another tulip. Yeah, wow, look at the color though. Oh, that's okay. Because you're a little green. I don't think I normally see the like green again got that camo thing going on beautiful banded tulip oh my gosh i can see literally through the slime how cool that oh you are beautiful maybe you're the one i need to make into a giant necklace oh you're awesome i know it's covered with green but i can tell it's gorgeous what do we got here? Oh, an olive, not terribly exciting. Oh, that one's much more exciting. It's got its color, it's got its top. A lettered olive, along with a sunray Venus clam. Excellent, an excellent pairing of shells. Oh, you are so pretty. Another fighting conch. Almost like ombre, the color's just kind of blending into the lighter, into the darker. Oh, <laughs> I love those conks. I do love a great olive too. Big, fat, shiny one. That one's broken. We're not going to hold on to that. Check out this shark eye though. So that we would consider a Paul Newman shark eye. All right, technically it's a false shark eye. It's got that little indentation in the back there. But either way, Gorgeous, gorgeous Paul Newman shark eye. Awesome. All right, so this, and so this happens, I just normally don't include it. So when I go to the beach, I'm picking up stuff left and right, but I just don't always keep it in the video. It's not all that exciting to talk about things that are pitted and broken. So believe me, I'm there picking them up. I just don't always include it in the video because frankly, there's so much other good stuff to show you. Oh, so I wouldn't want to jip you out of looking at that awesome fighting conch. But just know, it's not like every time I pick up a shell, it's perfect well i know i show you the broken ones sometimes because i find them interesting and this one I'm, I'm interested it's broken and the color is missing so like the color was only on the top part of the shell why was that i don't know oh big fat beautiful lettered olive oh man chunk of delicious and then we have a nice very lovely zigzaggy fighting conch yep oh that's gorgeous I'm telling you, Marco has really, really good fighting conks. Um, just the top, just the top of an alphabet cone. And then of course I look at it and I just go, yeah, those shells, they just, they keep growing in around in a circle and around and they get bigger and bigger as they go around in a circle. So that's just the top of an alphabet cone. I got my brain thinking about the way that those shells grow. Oh, that's really cool. A little horse conch. Gorgeous. Awesome lightning whelk. It's got 
little bit of chips on the opening, but for all intent and purposes, that is an awesome looking lightning log. This was really relaxed. The water was clear. It's just kind of like floating over the shells. Oh, it was so fun. Another nice lettered olive. What else we got here? A fighting cock. A little, there's a little Florida horse cock. And I see that the way the waves are kind of coming after, a boat must have just gone by because the waves don't tickle, typically come that quickly. So that is a apple murex, which happens to be very pitted. And then it got me to thinking about the pitted murex, which I've only found one on Kais. Always on the lookout for shells that I don't normally get to see, like this tiny little true tulip. Oh, that's so cute. Cute little true tulip. And there's a little banded tulip. Very nice. Yep, going for the lightning walk. Lovely. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. All right. Great moon snail. I'm not going to hold on to it. I wish we had met sooner, Mr. Moon Snail or Ms. Moon Snail. You are kind of a funny shell. I think that's a base scallop, but it's just like funny. Like the color's a little weird. The shape's a little weird. I think that's a base scallop. Oh, and here we have, this is a mossy arc. When I first started collecting these, I just thought they were kind of, they were like really beat up turkey wings, but they're, they're a species all to themselves, the mossy arc. And they are lovely, just like this gorgeous beach. So I'll be quiet and let you enjoy some beach time. a shell that must not stay here. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all those zigzags and they're just kind of peeking through the color of the shell. I almost wish I got to meet the critter, but then I wouldn't have been able to keep the shell. So I'm just going to be happy with the fact that I have this gorgeous fighting conch. Looks like I have a deposit on my hands here. So that is a lace murex on top and a horse conch on the bottom. Yes, I did bring my better half with me. He picked up a couple of goodies as well. Speaking of goodies, I mean, what, what can I say about a gorgeous prickly cockle other than they're just prickly on the outside, gorgeous on the inside? Love a good prickly cockle. I know, and it, I know the, con the, the fighting conchs are here and I'm trying you know, I mean, some of them are screaming at me and I have to go get them, but the other ones I'm going to try to kind of just leave them be because there's other shells here I want to kind of try to find. So it's hard. They call to me. They do. That looks like I'm going to chase somebody. Okay, lightning walk. Great. Oh, it's so pretty, right? That's your very average orange, very pretty lightning walk. A jingle, also known as a baby's foot. A lovely top half of a jingle, so that is a bivalve, and technically it will have a top and a bottom. So this, I was going crazy over. I thought that was just, I know it's just a Sunray Venus clam, but it's very pink and faded and, and just kind of different and I just really liked it. Sure, that, that shell is awesome too on the bottom. That, that's a great calico scout. But that Sunray Venus clam on top, I thought that was just really, really neat. It almost looked faded like a retro shell. 
Okay, so I think at this point I might have found something. I'm gonna I'm gonna chase it. it takes up. Oh, yep, I see it. Yep, I was chasing that horse, conk. That's a great. Not quite a pony, but still a nice size. Florida horse conk. It even has a little white top. I know. Okay, an apple murex. Terrific. Yeah, it's in decent shape. Check out this lettered olive. Yeah. Yep. Lettered olive and an apple murex. Now, those lettered olives always have shells jammed in that opening, like 99 times out of 100. It's just the way they're shaped. And this was so awesome for me because there's so many shells. I hope you can kind of see them just kind of rolling around in the waves there. But I was checking in the water, up on the land here. Couldn't let this moon snail pass me by. That is a quote-unquote regular shark eye. And then we see that hole drilled in it that was probably drilled by another shark eye because they have countersunk holes. So yeah, it's a snail-eat-snail -snail world. Now, this assembly of some sort, I don't... Hmm... It's a simile. I don't know what kind. It's hard to say. It was just a little bit worn down. Oh, look. Yeah, just kind of hanging out there waiting for me. Hello. We'll put you with your other horse conks in my shell bag. Terrific. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? But I'm trying, like, again, some of them I can't resist. Other ones, I'm looking around them because we have stuff like this. This is like the matching pair to the one my husband found. So that is a little bit beat up of a horse conk. Still, that's a nice sign. I'm going to hold on to that. That's lovely. So is this lovely lightning whelk lit just sitting on the beach. And I know I do this all the time, but it's still, even I can't believe, yeah, I'm just going to walk over to the beach and I'm going to thwack some of those shells off and just pick up these gorgeous seashells. Yep. Yep, that's how we roll here. South Marco, low tide. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is gorgeous. And really fun. Really, really fun. So, let's see. what it. I did film this in May. So, this is toward the end of May. So, summer is, you know, it's kind of coming. The shells are going to start hiding. I mean, they're still here. Don't, don't worry, we're going to make the summer work. We're going to have all sorts of fun. A banded tulip. Excellent. Now, I know I could have stood here for probably a couple hours just picking up fighting conks, but I was trying to, you know, I'm going to pick up a couple of those, obviously, and then just trying to see what else is here. So I'm telling my brain to look around the fighting conks. Just think, hey, what if my Janoni is here? What if? Alright, what did I see? A banded tulip. And it's fun. It's fun chasing those shells down the beach. So that's what summer is gonna be. We're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of chasing. Oh nice little rack line. For ourselves a Fargo or a West Indian worm snail. A little giant nope, that is a yellow prickly cockle. I thought it was a giant Atlantic cock. What do we got? That looks like a cohog. I see a spiny jewel box. Oh, a turkey wing. So that is an arc, also known as a zigzag arc. And that'll happen with these shells, a lot of them. Even though I'm still going to just go with the common names. I don't know that I'll ever really go and you know, learn all the scientific names. Oh, that's neat. And technically, when you learn the scientific names, there's no question, you know, it, it's a scientific name or it's not. Some of these shells have a couple of different names, and it's definitely tripped me up, wow, a couple times. Like, that sun ray Venus clam is, oh, look how cool. It looks alien to me, right? Like a alien spaceship shooting beams down, just kind of cool. Oh, better get that lightning well. Let's at least check it out. Is it a keeper? Why, yes, I believe it is. So, a really cool alien-like Sunray Venus and a 
Lightning walk. Oh, that's so brand. Oh, yeah. Yep. We were meant to be together fighting conk. Oh, you're so pretty. With that orange on the other side. Yep, that sealed the deal for me. Another little Florida horse conk. Gorgeous little fiery shell, right? Yep, just making sure. Yeah, there's little, there's little bits and pieces in there, but not the animal. That is okay to collect. Oh, another nutmeg. It's lovely. Really nice color. A gorgeous little hardy nutmeg. Oh, you're so pretty, orange fighting conk with a little bit of purple on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that one too. Oh, and you little ombre one. Yeah, you are also quite gorgeous. You need to come home with me. Oh dear. Okay, so there is lightning in the area. And I do keep an eye on my app. I have it set to 18 miles. So if there's lightning within 18 miles of me, I do get an alert. Wow, that's pretty. And luckily, I am not going to have to scurry off the beach, but I always have, you know, always kind of keep safety in mind. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Never find the white one. Look how white that is. Oh, love, love, love it. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's gorgeous. Love watching those shells just kind of rolling around. Another lightning walk? Well, who am I to refuse another lightning walk? What? This is a little weird. Okay. So this is a crown conch and it's alive. And I did not expect to see that here. I normally find them hanging out in the mud, but this is a, I mean, a really pretty crown conch, but it's alive. I, that is not one of the critters I would expect to find here. So let me get it out just a little bit, dig a hole and kind of leave it. There you go, friend. So, yep, I am cognizant. I only get so long over here because I want to be able to make it out of here. If I got stuck, I, you'd probably trespass, which I just don't think is cool. So I try to come here go around the jelly and I don't want to disturb anybody as I find, man, that is a pretty, oh, it's a little broken pretty florida cone it's a little i'm going to keep that oh of course i'm going to keep all those those are juvenile fighting conks cannot get enough of those fantastic little fighting conk yep probably a boat went by i'm seeing those wave after wave after wave or the cadence, it just kind of changes. Normally it's just like a normal, very gentle lapping. Boat comes by and whoa, okay. <laughs> big shell, big shell. All right, and another awesome fighting conch. So we do have a giant cockle on the bottom, giant Atlantic cockle, and then another Florida horse conch. A worm snail. Apple murex. Lovely. Oh, mwah. it's still lovely. It's got a couple holes in it. But I'm going to keep it anyway. What else do we have? So this is when it really gets fun. Because not, not that you're fighting with the waves, but you're kind of just a little bit of a more of a challenge. Find things like this gorgeous, right? It wasn't on the waves. It was on the beach with that really pretty rough scallop. Nice find. Oh, love it. I was down here one time when it was kind of, it was like this, the water's really clear and everything. And there were starfish or sea stars. They weren't starfish. They were sea stars just kind of bobbing in the waves here. It's beautiful. I never know what it's going to be when I come here. I've also seen a live paper fig down here. So I just love coming down here. It's just really fun. But like I said, the 
there's only so long you can really spend around that jetty before you gotta scurry out. Now, um, I mentioned I'm five foot eight and 0.5 feet is when I come and when I leave. It was a little sketchy leaving this time. I don't know why. I get maybe because the sun was coming down, the visibility was getting a little bit murky with the water. So just keep that in mind. I think myself on the way out, I might stick with 0.4 instead of 0.5. But once I kind of got around that corner, I'm like, wow, it's so pretty out. And we had this massive shell pile, but it's all common shells. Not that there's anything wrong with that. By all means, sit and pick through a big pile of shells. But I just had myself a fun time around those jetties. And then here, the light is kind of hitting the water and the rocks a certain way. And then, swoop. That is an osprey that has, I think it's a ladyfish because it was one of those like long skinny fish. So an osprey with its catch. It was a little weird that it landed on the beach. Normally it'll go take its food and go eat it in a tree or on top of a building or something. But that's the osprey kind of zoomed in. So it's kind of neat. It's not every day you get to see one of those ospreys on the beach. Well, that was really fun. I will be back the next time I can hit this place at low tide. Again, I think I'll do a little adjusting with the whole 0 0.5, 0 0.4 thing. And looks like Marco wants to give me one last shell. Why, thank you. I didn't find any lace murex over around those jetties, so I will gratefully take this one last shell and drag myself from the beach. So, Here's the hole. I did get a couple of those lettered olives, and then we did get a bunch of those banded tulips. That one semolene, and I'm st I still don't know what that was. And I did find a bunch of lightning walks. That was really fun. The Sunray Venus clams. Oh, looks like I did find two lace murex, a calico clam, the turkey wing. Oh, good, Atlanta cockle for all some of those little shells. A uh, bunch of horse conks. I see a couple of broken true tulips, some prickly cockles, a yellow prickly cockle, your regular prickly cockle. Of course, your fighting conks. I could not resist a bunch of those. Did grab a couple bivalves. So a couple base scallops and a couple calico scallops. And we did find that alphabet cone and that really neat kind of sunray venus clam. So. There wasn't any one really stupor or special shell. I just had myself a really good time. Patreons, thank you so very much. Thank you for your feedback. I included you in a little project I'm kind of working on. So thank you so much for everybody who responded and everybody else who comes every week and watches. Thank you. Thank you for your support. It helps pay for parking and gas and all these things kind of add up. Next week, we are doing something we've never done before. We're chartering a private boat and we are going and just exploring Florida. So trust me, it's going to be really, really fun. I hope you have yourself a great week and I will see you again next Sunday.